what are your goals for this year after seeing you know Ryan Harrison take out Brown Edge and then also seeing Donald Young take out Andy Murray do you what do you feel like do you feel like you have that coming your way um I mean I'm not really concentrating on who I'm playing right now I'm just uh, I'm just trying to win every single match I play you know everybody's good Donald beat Murray which was a great win and Harrison beat Brown and she was who came off to a great start to the year as well but uh uh, for me, you know, whether it's the first round or the quarters, or if I'm playing Rafa or if someone ranked 150, you know, I'm gonna try and win the match the same way. And uh, my my goal is to you know comfortably stay in the top 100 this year, and and uh, you know just keep moving up, top 75, top 50, and uh, you know I feel very confident that I can do that this year. How do you string your rackets? Does it change from the clay? You know, it depends. It doesn't really change for the surface, more so the weather. You know, it was cold and windy yesterday, so I strung my rack a little bit looser. Okay. Um, but today it was sunny, so I kept it the same. I'm very superstitious when it comes to my string tension, so I rarely change it unless the weather is just drops suddenly. But I'll keep it. I'll keep it the same for every tournament. Tennis players are known for their superstitions. What other superstitions do you have? Uh, well, I always shower in the same shower in the locker room when I win. Uh, my rackets. Um, each tournament, each year, I go to the same locker, things like that. Nothing too crazy, nothing too crazy, but just little things like that. How do you like it out here in Houston? I love Houston. I love Houston. I've had, I've had some good times here. Uh, got to the doubles final a few years ago with Jesse Levine, and uh, that, was a fun, that was a fun time, and we lost to Bob and Mike. Um, and uh, I think I really enjoy it here at River Oaks rather than at West Side. You know, it's a much more intimate feel. Uh, the fans, you know, there's not a bad seat in the house in the stadium, so I... Uh, I really enjoy it. Here. So, do you have anybody from the Bahamas come and watch you? Some some fans? Um, there's no one here in Houston, but uh, some friends usually come to the U.S. Open. It's tough for them to, uh, to when they leave the country, they're going to want to go to the to the you know the biggest tournament. So, a lot of people come to New York, but uh, no, I like to, I like to, I kind of like to be by myself on the road. You know, you don't just uh, be independent, kind of. So, what's your favorite group of fans to play in front of, and what's the hardest um, um, audience to play in front of? Uh, my favorite group of fans, uh, Palm Springs, Indian Wells, the fans are great. Fans are great there, but I mean, you can't compare it to New York. Uh, the fans there are so energetic, and especially if you're playing at night, um, and you're American, uh, it's, uh, it's the greatest feeling playing for a New York crowd. And I'd say the hardest would, uh, would probably be playing a French guy in France. That's as bad as it gets, I think. <laughs> so, you beat Query earlier this year at Delray Beach. What are your thoughts on playing him? Uh, yeah, uh, we played in Delray. I won straight sets. His, uh, it was a good win. I played well. Uh, I don't think his shoulder was 100% during that match, so he wasn't serving as well. But, uh, you know, we played uh, once before in LA and won three sets, and uh, we always seem to have good matches. And, uh, you know, it could, it'll be interesting. Uh, I enjoy playing on the clay. Um, I think more so than he does. I'm very comfortable out here, so, uh, you know, I'm confident I can do well. And uh, you know, everyone, you're known for your really strong forehand. If you could choose a shot from any of the players, you could choose a shot from each player. Which shots would you take? From each player, I'd uh, I'd take Nadal's forehand. I'd take Gasquet's backhand. I'd take Isner's serve. That's about it. Awesome. Then, then, then I'd be all right. Ryan brothers' balls. Yeah, and Bob and Mike's brothers' balls for sure, <laughs> for sure. And uh, Djokovic's returns. Awesome. Right. Thank you so much. All right.